Hi guys, it's uh, Inam Gafar again with the Samsung Galaxy S2. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to. I'm going to go through some tips, should I say, on how to save battery on your smartphone. So, just to begin with, I'll let, show you what I'm running on this phone in terms of our operating system. Uh, this one's running uh, Android 4.0.3, so it's running Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, which was released in uh, I think the back end of March. On this phone. Uh, so first things first, uh, task killer apps. Uh, they're a good thing to invest into. Um, I should I say invest into. Most of them are free. Um, I've got one running here. If I just bring that down, Ooh, maybe I don't. Uh, it's uh, the one I use is ta Easy Task Killer. Okay, you can set the optimization there so it's automatically configured and you just hit optimize and it does the rest it kills any apps that are running in the background that you may not be using um, and you'd be surprised what is running in the background when uh, you go in to check the settings Ooh, I didn't set that to auto optimize Ooh, there you go okay task killer apps as I say they're a, they're a good thing to have because you'd notice if we go into task manager on this and we're going to active applications it says there's nothing there RAM there's nothing there but if I clear the memory it says 19 applications closed but yet it said there was nothing running before so there's always something running in the background so task killer apps are a good thing to have next turn off the Wi-Fi if you're not using the Wi-Fi, turn it off. Um, for example, uh, when I go to work, I, as soon as I leave the house, I'll just turn it off because I know during the rest of the day, I'm not going to need Wi-Fi. And in the background, the phone is constantly going to be searching to try and connect to my Wi-Fi network, which is going to take up battery power and so forth. So you get the idea. So turn it off. It's a good idea. Data sync. If you've got, uh, if you go into settings and then uh, have a look at the accounts and sync, you can turn it off or you can turn it on. Um, I've got a couple of accounts set up there, so those will be all synchronizing. Um, I tend to, again, when I leave the house, I turn that off so that it's not synchronizing data through the mobile 3G, 4G network. Again, that saves battery because it's not synchronizing the data while you're on the move, or even when you're at home. That, that even when you're at home, that can still take up a lot of battery power if you've got a lot of data to sync between the phone and your various accounts. So, as and when you think you've got most of the data synced, just turn it off when you go out and about. Turn it off because a it saves you the battery, and b it saves you uh, data from your from your mobile phone contract live wallpaper if you've got wallpaper which constantly changes you've got flies that go across the screen or you got uh, I don't know um, like cartoon pictures that move across or bees that buzz about across and stuff like that turn that off because anything moving on the screen in terms of a live wallpaper in the background uses battery power okay so just switch it off if you don't need it I know it looks nice but in the real world, when you're trying to get your battery to last the entire day, every little bit helps. So just turn the live wallpapers off. And every now and again, I know I mentioned the background apps, but just go into Task Manager. And even if it does say nothing's running there, go into the RAM, clear the memory. And you can see there it says 20 applications closed, even though there's nothing there under the active applications. Every now and again, just do that, because that will free up battery power as well because it won't be trying to run all those applications in the background looking at screen protectors if you've seen some of my previous videos um, you'll notice that I had a mirrored screen protector on now that causes a lot of issues because the mirrored screen protectors have tints to them so once you put it on you can't see it doesn't look as bright basically on the phone so you have to turn the brightness up even further so that you can see what's on the screen again that kills more battery power because you, you're turning the brightness up 
So just get rid of the mirrored screen protectors. It's it's uh, it's like a novelty that wears off after a couple of days, and it saves you battery power because you're not turning the brightness up. I'd also recommend when you're not turning the brightness up is to auto adjust it or turn it all the way down. So if you go into brightness there, either set it to auto or turn it all the way down. I have it myself set to auto, um, but as you can see, you can you're still capable of seeing the screen even with it turned all the way down. But we leave it on auto brightness for now. GPS settings. First of all, if you go into settings and then turn off location services, there's no need to have any of these on unless you're a big Twitter fan and you like people to know where you are all the time because these in the background are constantly sending where you're where you basically are to the various accounts within Google or whatever accounts that you have set up that use the GPS settings and obviously that kills power as well um, and you'd be surprised how much power that will kill. Easy way to turn that off is just tap it on and off from the notification bar at the top uh, as easy as that. Another setting that you can change is if you go to applications settings and then developer options there's a, a setting towards the bottom which is called um, where it says under apps don't keep activities destroy every activity as soon as the user leaves it you can turn that on and off I leave that as on most of the time so all you do there it says exactly what it says on the tin as soon as you leave any sort of activity it just kills it it doesn't keep it in the background uh, which is always a good thing to have you can turn off various animations uh, uh, and such like from this uh, develop options menu Bluetooth settings are a good one as well if you're not losing Bluetooth just turn off uh, from the notifications area just turn it off there's no need for it so why turn it on if you're not using it same goes for any other notification bar icon that you have if you're not using it turn it off talking about notifications when you get if you get a lot of emails or a lot of text and you, and you've got a funky ringtone or a uh, a sound that plays every time it comes in, change that to just a beep or nothing at all or very something very simple. You don't don't put a, a whole track in for a notification because obviously when it comes in it's going to play, it's going to take up battery power and then your battery won't last as long. So just think about what you're doing in terms of notifications and so forth. And just you can set a simple beep in, um, which doesn't take up too much battery power at all. That is always going to be much better than setting a ringtone or something larger. Data when you're out and about away from your uh, Wi-Fi net network, just make sure that you've turned data off. Otherwise, it will try and sync information from your phone to all the accounts that you have over the the 3G, 4G telephone networks, and that will kill more power because. It, has to, it takes longer to do so just turn it off on and off simple does it like that switch on and off on, on ice cream sandwich it's as it, nearly as simple as that on gingerbread it's just a, a tick basically that you can turn on and off the proximity sensor uh, which is basically when you have a phone call and you put the, the phone to your ear um, it senses that you've put the phone next to your face and it turns off the display uh, which is a good thing. There's no point in having display on if you're not going to be using it because the phone's next to your face. Uh, you can turn that off by going to applications, settings, uh, call, and then there you go. Turn on proximity sensor. You can turn it on and off. Simple as that. It's better that you leave it off, leave it on, sorry, so that when you're using the phone, the screen goes off, and then when you move the phone away from your face, the screen comes back. It just saves a little bit on the battery power. Turning packet data off is also a good thing as well and uh, you can do that by going to applications settings and more uh, mobile networks and then use packet data that sends data to your phone in small packets basically exactly what it is um, turning that off stops the data going to your phone which also does mean that you won't receive text messages but it's a, uh, another way of saving battery life uh, I like I'll get text messages so we'll leave that on you can also while we're here uh, data roaming 
you can turn it off and on from here that's when you're out and about but uh, again uh, as you need you can turn it on and off um, just to restrict how well the battery works those are my tips on how to save on battery power or how to get your battery to perform better um, with what I've highlighted here if you've got any questions or comments uh, or you've got any uh, additional tips that I haven't mentioned please put those in the comments section below or if you've got any question, questions as well just put those below as well uh, please hit subscribe from the button up top there and just to check out what am I doing it's free it doesn't cost you anything and you can just keep in contact see what I'm up to if this video has helped you out give us a thumbs up thanks for watching and goodbye